Uh, those corners are still hanging on. Can't see the other one. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Uh, 6.16 p.m. 86 degrees. It's clouding up, though. The wind has changed. It's now a hot wind. It's not a cool wind. Humidity's going up. It may rain. It may just be miserably hot and humid. So much to look forward to. What I'm most looking forward to is the fact that the weekend is almost here. Tomorrow's Friday. Unfortunately, it's not Friday yet. It's Thursday. But thank goodness, I got off my plate the one thing which has been monopolizing my time all week. And I've been so busy today. I can still, first of all, I can still taste apple fritter and coffee because I waited so long to have it. I haven't had my V8. My V8 is not going to go well with this coffee fritter breath I have. Oh well. So I'm going to try not to make that, that face I usually make when I open a much better. Cheers. Ah. Uh. Interesting. So Laura and I had the same yogurt today, apple turnover. I usually have apple turnover on Thursday. If Yoplait is on sale, which means 50 cents or less, and it's the Yoplait that you can get the apple turnover in. Because sometimes they put the non-fat on sale, sometimes they only put the regular on sale, and they only have uh, apple turnover in, I want to say non-fat, as I dig it up out of the garbage can. Fat free. You'll play light. Also, I can tell the trash hasn't been picked up in two days because there are two yogurt containers in there. Anyway, this led to a conversation, and Laura said that she had a team of scientists working on my previous habits who could predict every yogurt I'll have through 2055. Now, she was joking, but it did make me put out a tweet saying, for absolutely no prize at all, predict which yogurt I'm bringing in tomorrow. And if you want to get in on that action, send a Twitter at CRZ with your prediction of what flavor of yogurt I will have tomorrow. And I will say, you're right now only competing with one person, the, the kill file victim, KFV. Hey, look, it's an orb shirt. We just passed the 20th anniversary of the release of UF Orb, one of the greatest ambient albums of all time. And that was my gateway to the Orb, actually. It was their second album, but right after I had that, I got their first album, their first double album, hour after hour of ambient goodness. Albums that I still listen to, and I made a special point of listening to UF Orb today. It's still great. It's still wonderful background music, and music you can work to. And I've had to work all day. I hate having to work all day, but it's finally out the door. And what have I been working on? I can finally tell you. Uh, I released a software alert for NetBackup for NetBackup appliances. Notification of a firmware change that you need to make before your disks blow up. What happens is if one of your disks fails, and let's face it, it's not likely to happen right now, but it's something that could happen in the future. When a disk fails, apparently it can lead to stress on the other disks, and in some of the firmware that's in there now, it can incorrectly take down additional drives. And if you lose three drives, the entire RAID virtual disk goes offline, bad things happen, your backups stop, maybe you lose a little data, you don't want to do that, data loss is a bad deal. So. We have a firmware update that people should download and apply, and that's basically what the software alert said. But it took forever to get the wording right, to get everyone to approve. Writing is the easiest part of my job. The hardest part, and it's not even hard so much as it is, uh, what do you want to say? Banal, drudgery, plentiful, Diplomacy is what it is, is, is getting VP level people to sign off on language and 
fortunately, there's a good group of people I work with this time. Sometimes I will get these project managers who want to obsess and go uh, in microscopic detail over every single placement of every single little word, as if it matters whether I say this word or that word. Especially because those are the people who will wait until six other people have said, okay, this is great, let's ship it. And then they'll come back and they'll say, oh, wait a minute, I have some changes I need to make. And that means you got to go back to the beginning and get everybody to okay another round if you end up making changes. I hate people like that. Especially because they are not writers and they can't write as well as me in the first place. That's why they're project managers. Right? I apologize to all my coworkers who are project managers who are watching this. Probably none. But if you're dying to see an example of what I do, you can Google TECH192604, Tech192604. It's only been out for an hour, but it's already the number one result for that term because I don't think anybody else uh, uses document identifiers the way that Symantec does. Firmware update, net backup appliances. Wasn't that exciting? That's a little bit about what my day was like. My day was so full, I once again forgot to take advantage of Jimmy John's $1 sub sandwich deal from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. down the road in Roseville. I always hear that it's, it's in like an insane madhouse asylum with people who will stand in line to save three bucks on a $4 sub. But I'm one of those people. I wouldn't mind doing that. But again, I missed it. Maybe next year. How about that Nick Batum? Are the Blazers going to match the offer sheet or what? Are the Wolves going to get him? I think the Wolves really want him, but you can't always get what you want. I think I stacked up some comments yesterday. Usually by Thursday I have some comments to respond to, whether it's me being pitiful or people actually getting around to watching videos that late in the week and having something to respond to. But... I have three posts on the W, and I will answer them now. Greg asks, who are you most looking forward to seeing on the 1000th Raw? That's a softball question. He wants me to say Steve Blackman. Um, I guess I'm looking forward to Steve Blackman. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes we should just leave the memories alone. Wait, I've said that before. Um, it'll be nice to see Bret Hart, I guess. I don't know. Ordinarily, I would have been really excited about seeing Bob Backlund, but after seeing him on Monday, the rest of the show had drug, uh, dragged me down to such a point where I was like, oh, look, Bob Backlund. Hooray. Who are my favorite favorite guys? I would like to see William Regal. What's he up to? He's still around. Let's, let's see him. Hey, what's the deal with Karma? Is she gone or what? People noticed some strange stuff happening at WWE.com. Karma had been moved to the alumni portion of the site. So is she gone? Is she an alumni now? An alumnus? James wants me to know that uh, James Vanderbeek has been playing himself on Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, which is a better show than you think. It would have to be. <laughs> James also says GIF, like I do. G-I-F, graphics interchange format. It's not graphics, is it? It's graphics. I've also heard you're supposed to say GIF, or at least that was the intent of the folks who invented the format, but I don't. I don't think most people do, really. Most people don't talk about image files at all, but you know what I mean. A lot more people talk about them now than they did a couple years ago. I blame the resurgence of the animated GIF for that. Email from our IT department this morning reads as follows, says Doug. It appears as though the issues we are having are only on Windows XP workstations and is being caused by an update that Symantec, our antivirus software vendor, released yesterday. They've acknowledged that it is their update causing the problem and are working on a solution. So when are you going to fix my computer? I work for NetBackup. If NetBackup did not cause you a problem, I can't help you out. It's funny you should say that, though, because my director sent a company-wide email to everyone in the tech support group saying, please, please do not reboot your XP laptops because a semantic antivirus release will blue screen your computer if you reboot it. So now God help us if I have to reboot this computer anytime soon. I'm sure it'll be fixed by tomorrow, right? And pushed out to me? We can hope. Assuming everything goes well, 
I'll be back tomorrow. Much less work to do. Thank goodness. Got to catch up on all the work that I've been putting off to do this work. Sooner or later, I got to take a vacation too. I want to take about a week. There's got to be some hole in the schedule where I can just not show up. But we'll worry about that another day. Thank you for uh, listening to me rant and rave today. I'll be back tomorrow. I should be back tomorrow. And if you have any uh, further contribution to the conversation that I'm having alone with you, hit me up on all the usual spots, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.